I'm here with Joe Jacoby, CEO of uh, USA Canoe Kayak. Uh, Joe, well, could you give me a quick um, update on well what's been happening so far here at the Worlds in Bratislava? Well, I think the big word of these World cha Championships have, has been adaptability. I mean, there have been two days of postponement due to the weather conditions. We finally get racing started today. I think there's been a, a lot of anticipation on the athlete, from the athletes, from the judges, from all the stakeholders, the event organizers. I think people are just glad to be racing, and there's been some spectacular racing so far. You know, from the United States perspective, we were excited to get our first Olympic spot. Caroline Queen uh, qualified the last position in the women's kayak category. So we kind of feel like the road to London has really kind of started in earnest. So we're, we're excited about that. Our women's kayaks are, uh, are really happy too. What would be um, a personal highlight for you today? Well, I think, you know, here we are at the World Championships, and we know what everyone's doing here. They're trying to do their very best. You know, Olympic qualifiers are on the line. I had a really interesting um, interesting event happen to me this morning. I was kind of walking on my way somewhere. A group of Italian coaches pulled me into their, uh, into their conversation. They all got quiet. Uh, their team leader, you know, put his hand on my shoulder, you know, looked me in the eye and just really conveyed their respect, you know, for the people who lost their lives on September 11th. I think that really slowed me down for a moment and you know it helped me remember where we were back on September 11th you know we were at the world championships on the Okoe River in the United States about half the athletes had arrived half hadn't but I think in some ways I'm almost glad that I'm here with the you know my international canoeing friends the same people I was with you know 10 years ago you know rather than being back home in in the states and uh, I'm just you know it was just one of those moments that really help put some perspective on what we're doing here. We're, we're, we're playing a game. We're playing at a, ga a game at a very high level, but um, you know there are these unique things that just uh, you know the, where the human spirit is the one that really wins the gold medals at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, that sounds beautiful, Joe. Yeah. In 2014, the U.S. will host the World Championships. You've already seen many World Championships in your life. 2014, does that give you a different perspective walking around this world here in Bratislava? I, the, we're very fortunate to actually have five organizer, five people from our organizing committee uh, for Deep Creek 2014 here in Bratislava. That means they're getting a three-year head start. They're really seeing a well-organized world championships in a year before an Olympic Games. And they didn't just jet in for the weekend. They've been here all week long learning every element of the race. So that's very, very exciting. And back, the last time we actually hosted the World Championships was 1989 because the, uh, the 2001 Worlds were canceled in the wake of the September 11th attacks. The 1989 World Championships on the Savage River was, um, was such a huge opportunity for the United States program. Not only did the athletes perform well at those world championships and had a good home team performance, but it, it really motivated so many young people uh, to get involved in the sport, to stay involved in the sport, and a lot of those athletes went on to perform uh, very well for the United States for years to come. So, you know, we really feel that a, a lot of these athletes in the sport that come from other countries, they've been wanting to race in the United States for a long time. You know, we have so many recreational kayakers in the United States. We have most of the, the large manufacturers are based in the U.S. and um, people want to be close to that. They want to get closer to that, uh, to those elementary uh, nature of the, of the sport. We have so many kids in the sport that have only learned to paddle on concrete artificial whitewater channels and you know at ASCII, uh, at the Adventure Sports Center, not only will you be able to have an artificial course experience but you can drive 10 minutes and in your slalom boat, paddle class five whitewater on the Upper Yawk River in Western Maryland. So what an incredible opportunity these athletes are gonna to have to really um, experience so many elements of the sport that they've never seen before. Can't wait. What, what strikes me, Joe, is that there are a lot of major events planned for the next few years in, in Pan America. Just a few examples. Uh, next year, World Cups Freestyle, 2013 World Championships Freestyle, Canada 2014 World Championships Canoe Sprint for juniors under 23, not to forget 2016, uh, the Olympic Games. Uh, 
can you explain all yeah this activity all of a sudden in Pan America? Well, it, it's been a very exciting continent <laughs> over the last uh, 18 months. We have been busy. Well, one thing is is that I think that uh, the United States and Canada, you know, work, we work very well together. You know, we are, we coordinate a lot of el elements of our programs together. I mean, we're right next door. A lot of the slalom athletes come down to compete in the U.S. races. Um, we are now organizing a series of developmental sprint races, one in the U.S., two in Canada, to start next summer. Um, we love working with uh, with Team Canada. We have a, our values and our approach to the sport are very similar. Then, as you work your way south, I mean, Brazil has um, is really putting a lot of resources into the sport right now, and I think that's um, that kind of anchors the Americas in a very positive way. And we've got good venues, and we have good volunteers in in those countries. And and I kind of come back to something I was talking about earlier: is that I think in the Americas we have more recreational paddlers than anywhere else in the world, and that should be of value to the International Canoe Federation and and to a lot of the strong racing countries here in Europe. I mean, at the end of the day, we want to build that connection between competition and recreation. You know, we want our very best athletes to have fans. You know, we want them to, we want those fans to be paddlers. You know, thanks to the kind of kayaks that are being produced in the Americas today, you know, kayaking has never been easier to do, easier to access. And then look out, here comes stand-up paddleboarding, which is just is catching on and is a new craze and it's getting so many people out on the water with a paddle in their hand. Um, I think the future looks really bright for the Americas. It's a, it's a good time to be there right now. Yeah. Well, yeah, it sounds fantastic. One thing I would like to highlight, Pan America will also have the world premiere for para canoeing Olympic Games. Yeah, what, what do you think about that? Uh, it, it's incredible. It's going to be an incredible opportunity for for the entire sport. I sure there's a lot of stories, you know, like this around the world. You know, in the United States, we work really closely with a program called Team River Runner, which is a kayaking program that started out of the Washington D.C. area for soldiers that were coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq with lower body injuries from you know from the war, and so kayaking was just this terrific way to. Uh, to show to, to show to show those soldiers uh, that this is truly a um, you know the water is your body you know that's where the energy comes from in, in our sport and they've taken to it so well and you know we know that on our Paralympic team we're, you know we're certain to have ath athletes on our team that have military background and like I said we won't be the only one but it's a very unique going to be a very unique part of the of the canoeing program at the Paralympic Games in 2016. Well, and my last question, Joe, that brings us back to where we are right now, the World Championships Canoe Slalom in Bratislava, Slovakia. What do you think we can expect in the next few days? What are we going to see? Well, I, you know, the elephant in the room, <laughs> you know, this is a, the home team, the Slovakian team, won three of the four gold medals at the last Olympic Games. and. You know, the Hawks runners and Mardikon are truly uh, flirting with rare air in the Olympic movement right now. I mean, the Hawks runners, if they make it to London, are going to be going for a fourth gold medal in four Olympic Games. Mardikon going for a fifth Olympic medal in five games. It's just not a lot of people who've done that before. So I think for all of us to really see what they do in front of their hometown crowd, racing in front of their friends and families, I hadn't caught up with them in a long time. The Hawks runners speak great English now, so um, I had probably a longer conversation with them and the, while I've been here than, than having raced with them for four years. I think those guys are, you know, they're very subdued. I think they're very relaxed, and I think that you're going to kind of see their big game experience come out in the C2 competition. And then in the men's kayak class, I gotta tell you, I'm just very fascinated with the whole Peter Kauser story. I think not just in the boat, but what he's what he stands for and what he's about out of the boat. I think he's really one of the true rock stars of our sport, kind of that fits in well with his Dane Jacksons and Attila Vidas. And uh, you know, I think there's kind of a special place for Peter there. I think if he can really kind of get his Olympic run started the right way with a gold medal at these world championships, I think, you know, Whitewater Slalom is going to be firing on all cylinders. Wow, the next few days are going to be very promising. Joe, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Yeah, 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 yeah